Get a shot and a goal as Luke Patone got the through ball. Beautiful pass from Haji. And here's Santos. He was grabbed. Ball played ahead. And in on goal, a shot in, a, in to the net. Goal number two. We came out with the right mentality, flying. We scored one goal. We didn't stop playing. We keep the pressure on them and scored the second right away. That helped us. And then we stay smart, calm foot on the ball and keep moving them. And we got up early, which was good, especially since the first half was a little bit hectic. I think we did a good job tonight of catching them in transition a little bit on the counter attack, slipping them and getting them behind. In the back of the net, a terrific shot. We took some chances well. We were dangerous in, uh, in transition. Davidson kind of stepped to us and, and tried to turn us over in the back and, and the game got a little open and, and you know, Thought we played through them a few times very well. Played a pretty high line, so there was a lot of space in behind. I was just making the runs, and the midfielders slipped me. They gave me so many good balls tonight, so I was just on the finishing end, but it was really the passes putting me in. Happy for Luke to get three goals and, and uh, get himself going a little bit. Yeah, we're confident right now. This is our third one in a row, so we're just looking to keep the ball rolling. You know, coming home, I think a little bit of confidence for the guys with the two in a row, Coastal Carolina and UNC Wilmington, and get two results was really important. I think that was the first time Coastal had lost at home in maybe three years in the regular season. You know, and then at Wilmington, you know, they're a you know, legitimate top 15 team. We're starting to pick things up and peak at the right time, so Fordham's the next step. So we're already looking forward to that game.